Uh, excuse me, I'm going to have to interrupt here. Um, a number of complaints have been received about this product uh, to the Inf Information Commissioner's Office, so I've got a special delivery for you. Dear Smart T, we are the Information Commissioner, the Independent Regulator for the Data Protection Act 1998. We are concerned that the Smart T device and app breaches the Act. Never heard of them. Should we just ignore it? Um, ah, it is important that you do not ignore this notice. <laughs> <coughs> okay, do you think it's serious? This is very serious. <laughs> the Smart T device and app appear to breach the first, second, third, fourth, Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth data protection principles okay. stop collecting and using and otherwise processing data immediately. <clears throat> I think that's the end of our product launch, isn't it? <clears throat> right, let's start again. Shall I go on this and you, you want yeah. to wander around? Thank okay. Uh, so, how could it have been done differently? How could you bring uh, such a clever product to market, but do so in a way that is respectful of privacy laws and, um, and consumer concerns. This is also the kind of dry legal bit as well, just so, <laughs> just so you know. Right, so, <clears throat> actually I will wander around. So, you should start with a privacy impact assessment. Um, there's a lot of guidance on this. There's a lot of guidance on PIAs from the ICO amongst other regulators, even various industry sectors like the RFID community have issued guidance on how to do this. Um, and that's really the approach we're going to take for the remainder of this presentation. We're going to follow a sort of general PIA approach, and then we're going to break it out feature by feature to show how a mini specific privacy impact assessment might have improved things for that particular feature. Now, the thing about a PIA is that it will, of course, help with a privacy by design approach, which many of you have mentioned already and no doubt will have heard a lot about. So when doing this, there's certain questions that you need to ask yourself. You need to do so in a disciplined way. You need to follow the thought process. You need to document your outcomes. And importantly, what you're also trying to do is to do it from an individual's point of view. So for each of these features or whatever it might be, you're trying to ask the question, well, what would be the impact on the individual's privacy. And it's even a little bit broader than data protection. You're really thinking about their privacy in a, in a broader sense. So think about it from how people would feel about it. Where's the creepy line? Where's the surprise line? That kind of thing. Um, and that will inform where you go. Now, this clearly is a, if it were real, it's not, by the way, it's not a real thing, just to clarify. Um, it's super complicated in terms of the information. So it collects a lot of different types of information. There's a lot of different uses, uses going on. There's a lot of sharing, and there's data going all over the place. So we've got data from the device to the app on the smartphone. From that to, let's say, Smart T's backend systems, there'll be APIs all over the place, I imagine. So there'll be third-party data sharing and so on. Now, when doing the PIA, one needs to understand that. Without understanding that, it's really hard to pinpoint where that problem to the individual privacy is going to arise. And in terms of the things you'd look at, look at the most significant risks. Start there, prioritize with those. So what, what could happen that would be significant? Then think about the likelihood of it. So you could all think of a very, very significant risk, but if it's only theoretically possible, then maybe it goes further down your list. So focus on the big ones, focus on the likelihood, and as you're thinking about them, try and think, well, okay, well, What's the potential impact on individuals here? And those are the ones that you're trying to, um, trying to respond to. And for each of those, you need to think about potential solutions.